with an incredible challenge. So his community stepped up to give him the bedroom of his dreams. Ashley Williams is standing by with more on this young Jedi Knight's incredible story. This room is phenomenal. Wow. It's phenomenal, guys. And right now, Nathan's getting a chance to enjoy his Star Wars themed bedroom. Right now, he's playing a video game. Nathan, what game is this? Star Wars Squadron. All right. I don't even know what that is, but he's having a good old time with it. And I know that our photographer, Steve Garcia, and Nathan just bonded over <laughs> this game. So we're going to let him go ahead and play. But really quick, I want to bring in Jen. Jen's the co founder of Sweet Dreams Foundation. And they are the reason why Nathan is getting a chance to enjoy this special themed room. Jen, good morning. Good morning. Now, for those who are just tuning in, let's go ahead and show the corners and every uh, part of this room. What was your team able to do for Nathan? What were we able to do? What weren't we able to do? No. It, we have we've created an awesome Murphy bed. Um, we've got a nice massage bed over here. That's something that lifts it out and allows for him to be sitting up and also cuddle up with his mom, right? It has a super cool little dog bed. Um, Nathan likes his dog bed to be right there next to him, a, a fog machine, all sorts of different things, all of his gaming, TV watching. And the best part is, is as you can see, he loves to collect yeah. things. And now he can actually see Oh, oh, sorry, my mask. All of the things that are displayed. So, and then the really cool Death Star light and glow in the dark. Yeah. What, what more? What you know? More? What this, more? This is great. Uh, thank you so much. I mean, Sweet Dreams Foundation, they really do so many great things uh, for folks in the community. Now, I want to come over and talk with Nathan's parents. Um, now, this is Ruth, this is Mark, and Flash here. Um, Mark, if you can just share with the audience um, a little bit about Nathan's journey with Duchenne uh, Muscular Dystrophy. Sure. So basically, uh, Nathan was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy um, at a young age. Um, basically, Duchenne is a rare genetic um, disease um, that weakens the muscles for boys. And um, it's unfortunately been very aggressive with our son. Um, Duchenne, it, with some boys with Duchenne, they typically, typically stop walking at age 12 to 14. Unfortunately for our son, Nathan, he stopped walking at age 7. Um, it's had additional impact on his throat muscles um, where he's unable to digest and swallow food so he has a feeding tube. So um, it's not only been impactful to Nathan but our entire family. Yeah, and we were just talking just moments ago, Mark, you said it obviously it has impacted your family. You're now officially a stay-at-home dad. Um, Nathan requires 24-7 care, but there's something positive. You have to find the silver lining in some of these things. And you said the community has been so great. Obviously, uh, you know, between Make-A-Wish and Sweet Dreams Foundation, these, these are uh, the, the things that are helping you guys keep going. Yes, definitely. Along the journey, um, we, have, we have received the support of so many people, strangers, family, and relatives. Um, besides the Sweet Dreams Foundation, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, um, and even from our colleagues, at, you know, I used to work at a former company. We did multiple fundraisers um, for Nathan to raise awareness and research. Um, just now with the Sweet Dreams Foundation, I think my wife and I are just awed. All the volunteers yesterday, we did not know them. They gave up um, their time, they gave up their talents, their resources to create Nathan a dream room. Companies gave. Um, you know, free items and built items so Nathan can have this room. So we're just in awe and thankful for people's, you know, yeah. Yeah, and Bayside Church, who we've been connected with. Their support has been amazing. Awesome. Mark, thank you so much. And of course, thank you to the family for, for sharing Nathan's journey. Thank you to Jen and her team, of course. Now, before we wrap it up, I got to, uh, what's your name? Uh, Haley. This is um, Haley, the sister. How you feeling? Uh, good. Yeah, okay. She's like, I don't know. So I'm going to switch sides here. Hey, Nathan. <laughs> Can you tell me one thing that you love most about this room? Everything. I, I don't know. All of it? I don't, I, I don't, I don't really know. I know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot. So um, we talked about this earlier, guys, but uh, an awesome artist painted this mural. Remind me again what this, uh, the village is. Ewok Village. It's from Star Wars. Cool. I know nothing. Listen, I'm not a Star Wars fan, but I should probably turn into one, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm missing out. All right, cool. I'm going to let you get back to your video game. Are you winning, by the way? Uh, I have no idea. Okay, well, I'll let you get back to him. He's like, stop interrupting me so I can get back to my video game. All right, guys, again, these are just such great segments. I mean, I'm just so glad that Good, good Day got a chance to come in and experience this journey with the family. So shout out to, of course, Mark and Ruth. Um, and, and Nathan and sister here and Jen, thank you again for everything. And by the way, we have to wrap it up, but that Murphy bed that she was talking about, Right there. How oh. cool is that? You wouldn't even know that it's a Murphy. That is amazing. Bed. I had no idea that's yeah. what that was. <laughs> right? what that so was. cool. <laughs>
That's, that's the so Murphy great. bed. So cool. Nathan's going to be sleeping with his eyes open yes. tonight because he loves every great. single thing. Thank you so much, Ashley, and enjoy that room, young man. All right, so raising young children can be a challenge.